Okay, and we are here in ChatGPT today. A very popular thing right now, a big trend, because of course, it is coming out with all sorts of really cool replies and messages and ideas for all sorts of things. So in today's video, I'm gonna use ChatGPT to give me some update ideas for Sword Factory Reforged, as well as maybe some tips and hints on how to get better at the game. So let's just get straight into it with some of these cool, cool questions. So, of course, in the last video we talked about some up update ideas, such as new worlds, new rarities, and some new features as well. So I think the first question should be, give me some new rarities for Sword Factory Reforged. And let's see if it gives us anything really cool. Certainly here's some, oh, so we got a Celestial, that was in the last game. Chrono Forged, uh, Voidborn, that's a pretty cool name. Uh, Aetheric as well, we've got Ascendant, it's given us so many, it's given us 10, that is insane. So we've got, right, so let's go from the top, Celestial, which was of course in the previous game, Chrono Forged, actually sounds pretty cool, um, it's in, in, infused with the essence of time itself, which is really cool. We've got Voidborn, which is crafted using rare materials from the depths of the void. We've got an Aetheric, which is infused with the essence of uh, the elemental plane of the Aether, which I think is like the heaven sort of thing maybe i don't i'm not really too sure we've got ascendant as well which is the pinnacle of craftsmanship and magical infusion luminary which is again the infusion of radiant energy of the sun which is again really cool we've got draconic as well which is the scales and bones of the mighty dragons uh, we've got ethereal which is actually a class in the game but this does say that it's just you know using rare otherworldly metals and crystals but Ethereal is already like a class in the game. And we've got Harmonic as well, which is actually a really nice name. Uh, finely tuned to resonate with the natural frequencies of the world, which is really cool. And then Elation as well, which is imbued with the essence of the divine. So some really cool names there, and honestly, some that I would actually like to see in the game, especially like Draconic. Maybe that could actually be a mold instead, with it being the scales and bones of dragons. Uh, similar to some, other, some of these other ones as well, like the luminary could also be a mold with the radiant and energy of the sun. Those are some really, really cool ones right there. So honestly, developers, if you are struggling for names, here you go, ChatGPT has got you sorted out. So we may as well go on to the next one now. Give me some new molds for Sword Factory Reforged. Now, I'm not too sure if this is gonna give us the molds that we're looking for, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, and it's thinking right now, it might not be able to think this out. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, straight away we've already got the dragon bone mold. Uh, we've got some other ones as well. I'm just going to kind of like go through all these because I'm pretty sure it's probably going to give me 10 again. But it's, it's giving some really, really cool in-depth descriptions as well, which is absolutely insane. Uh, it's still going as well. We've gotten six right now. Seven. I think it's going to go all the way down to 10, so I'm going to like kind of just keep going down there. So first off, we have the Dragon Bone Mold, which is of course what we were saying uh, with like the rarities and stuff. This mold allows the player to create swords that resemble the mighty bones of dragons. Again, really cool. The Crystalline Mold, we do already have Crystal in the game, uh, but I guess Crystalline could also be, you know, maybe further down. Uh, it enables the creation of swords made from enchanted crystals, so that is actually pretty cool. So basically like the crystal mould, or maybe like glowing with some like glowing things inside of it, that would be pretty cool. The elemental core mould, um, with players can forge uh, swords fused with the essence of the elemental cores, elemental cores, sorry. So um, either something like, you know, earth, wind, uh, I think it's like sea and fire, or water and fire or something like that. Or it could just be like the core of the earth as well. That could also be really cool. We have the Celestial Sigil Mold, which allows players to create uh, swords bearing an ancient celestial markings. So again, that is something that could be pretty interesting. Uh, similar to maybe like fossils, but instead it of course has like the actual markings from uh, like ancient uh, empires and stuff like that, uh, like the Egyptians maybe or something like that. We have the runestone mold as well, which enables the creation of swords embedded with the magical runestones. The shadow steel mold, which I could definitely see being in the game at some point as some sort of really mystical mold. Uh, created uh, using, uh, well, forged from the mysterious and rare alloy infused with a shadow essence. So of course it will be steel, but have some sort of like mystical powers inside of it. Could have some really cool looking like effects off of it as well. Like the soul facade has like the yellow trail. This of course could have a black trail, which could be really cool. 
We also have the prismatic shard, um, which is obviously used with a la long lost prismatic gem, which could be really cool as well. Uh, I'm not really too sure what colors it could be, blue, purple maybe, but again, could look really, really cool. We have the enigma mold as well, which allows players to create swords with a puzzling and ever changing design. That would be insane. Probably very, very difficult to actually implement into the game. But if we had a sword that was actually fully animated, that was constantly changing the way it looked, that would be absolutely insane. Maybe it could just be the colour, that could also be pretty cool, but if it actually changed the way it looked in terms of its actual overall design, that would be absolutely insane. We have the soul steel mold as well, another steel one which basically has the essence of trapped souls inside of it, which could be really cool as well, because this could also link into like, you know, the actual souls that are already in the game. And if you get the soul steel mold, it could actually in, like, you know, basically work alongside the soul shatterer enchant, which could be really cool as well. Maybe this could be like a special limited time uh, sword or something like that, or maybe one that's in a quest that could be very difficult to get, but that'll be really, really cool to see that in the game as well. And then of course we have the time shape mold which allows players to create swords that warp and manipulate time itself again one that could definitely have some really cool effects maybe that could you know say you die you could actually turn back time you come back and then you know you're kind of like back in the same place and you can refight that mob again similar to a boss maybe it could be really really cool to see that in a game probably maybe more as like an enchant rather than a mold but again something that is really really cool now, I do have some other ones as well. Let's go with give me some new worlds for Sword, whoops, Sword Factory Reforged. This is something that we are definitely missing in the game right now. So let's have a look. So yeah, again, it's gonna give us a ton of these straight away. So let's go through them. We have the Astral Realm, which was actually a rarity in the previous game. This is a dimension of pure magic and celestial energy, which is really, really cool sounding and could have some really nice looking areas around there. We have the Steamworks Kingdom as well. Um, of course, with, you know, steam powered stuff and all that kind of machinery technology, like kind of brownie gold looking vibe could also be pretty cool. The Elemental Dominion is a very, very cool name. It's a realm where the forces of nature are at their strongest. So this could definitely be something like the last island um, in terms of like the, you know, the six slots that we currently have right now on the board. This could definitely be the last island where of course it says right there the forces of nature are at, the, are at their strongest. Which would, would of course bring in the strongest mobs. And could also have some sort of maybe like you know weather effects. Like random fire attacks, water attacks, earth attacks and air attacks. Could be really cool. We have the Mirage Oasis as well. Which is a desert realm enveloped uh, in an illusion and enchantment. So of course Oasis and you know like Mirage and stuff like that it's kind of like when you're in the desert you hallucinate at seeing an oasis or a lot of water and it's just not there you've probably seen it in a lot of cartoons and stuff like that before but that would be really cool as well maybe like um, there's like a boss in there which is like really mystical can like kind of confuse you a little bit teleport around that would be really really cool to see that as well we have the crystalline haven which could of course link back to that other mold we saw before which of course has dazzling crystal formations and radiant energies could be really cool to see that one we have the tangled realm uh, which is an overgrown massive sentient vegetation again something that we could see similar to the swamp i think from the previous game but this could have like all sorts of tree roots growing over it and again could have a really cool sort of like tree uh, boss with some really cool uh, attacks as well in there as well uh, we have the celestial Cit uh, citadel um, which is a floating realm si uh, situated high above the clouds and swords here are forged from the channel of the celestial energies which could be really cool as well something really high up probably kind of link into that aether um, or like where was it the aether mold that we saw up here before i think maybe somewhere i can't remember where we saw it now uh, but yeah like kind of like an aether kind of area basically we have the shadow nexus as well which is a dark mysterious realm shrouded in shadows and populated by shadowy creatures again which could link back to that shadow steel sword as well which would be really cool we have the techno metropolis as well which is a futuristic cityscape filled with advanced technology and neon lit streets that does sound really cool and i think honestly we do need to see some sort of like different variant of worlds of course we got like the basic ones we've got the noob island we've got the icy plains it's just kind of like all basic areas where you would expect to be fighting anyways but say you are fighting in between like some kind of like massive Jap japanese like kind of 
skyscrapers with all sorts of bright colours coming off of it. That could be really, really cool as well. And then of course we have the Dreamlands, which is where dreams and imaginations come to life, which again could be pretty cool and also could link into, I think it was the, uh, the, yeah, the Celestial Citadel uh, area as well. That could be pretty cool. But yeah, that would be really, really nice to see some of those as well. Now, one other thing that I wanted to see if it would kind of understand, and it could, get, again, just give me something similar to what we've already gone over here with the worlds, but I wanted to know some portal ideas. So basically what I mean by this is, you know, that the kind of the purple portal, what it could kind of come from that. So I'm going to go with give me a portal idea for Sword Factory Reforged and just see what kind of ideas it comes up with. It'll probably come up with again with 10. Oh, here we go. Oh, so it's actually a whole kind of description of one area. So it's called the Flux Gate Nexus, and it is a unique portal that connects various dimensions and realms together. It is a swirling vortex of energy, pulsating with color and vibrant hues. When activated, the portal allows players to travel to different worlds within the Sword Factory Reforged universe. So that could actually be a nice way to introduce some new islands rather than just using the board. This could actually be like the gateway to like the whole other set of islands, which could be pretty cool as well. To activate the Flux Gate Nexus, players must gather rare Flux crystals scattered across the realms. So again, a nice way to bring in a new quest as well. These crystals serve as a key to unlocking the portal's power. Once enough Flux crystals are collected, they can be inserted into specific re receptacles surrounding the portal. Upon activation, the Nexus opens a gateway to a randomized world from a pool of available realms. Players can step through the portal, immersing themselves in a new and exciting environment with unique challenges and rewards. The randomized selection ensures, uh, ensures that the, each portal journey is a fresh and unpredictable experience. Overall, just from those three paragraphs there, that sounds absolutely insane. And we've not even gotten into like what's actually in this gateway so far. The realms accessible through the Flux Gate Nexus can be a range of fantastical landscapes like enchanted forests, icy tundras and volcanic wastelands to mystical dimensions filled with magic and mystical creatures. Some realms may require players to be complete specific quests, of course that could be like the levels, and overcome certain obstacles to progress further and find rare materials out for sword crafting. Additionally, the Flux Gate Nexus can serve as a hub for multiplayer interactions. Players can meet up and form parties to explore the realms together, engaging in cooperative battles, sharing resources, and engaging knowledgeable uh, knowledge and about crafting and you know the usual stuff. This is probably not going to be in the game uh, unless you know people want to kind of like sort of role play it i guess uh, but you know again as it says here adds an element of discovery adventure and collaboration to sword factory reforged as players embark on thrilling journeys through the portal seeking new worlds to explore rare materials to gather and formidable enemies to overcome that sounds insane re-add the portal in now call it this and just add this whole thing in because that sounds really really fun chat gpt so far has probably made one of the best games i've ever seen which is absolutely insane now i'm not too sure if i have any more questions apart from of course the main one in the title right now how do i become pro in sword factory reforged so let's see um if this actually you know can give us the right thing so how do i become a pro in sword factory reforged will this give us some proper hints on how to actually become a pro will this just kind of blank out i'm not too sure but let's see becoming a pro in sword factory reforged requires dedication practice and a deep understanding of the game mechanics which is very true. Master the basics, start familiarizing yourself with the fundamental mechanics of the game, understand how forge swords, choose materials that apply enchantments. Now, this doesn't really make sense. I guess you could say this technically makes sense if the re-enchanter was added into the game. Um, experiment with sword crafting, I guess could be like, you know, experiment with the ascender, train your skills, just, you know, spam that click button to see how fast you can click. Complete question challenges, now this is technically true, this can help you out, especially at the start of the game. Study enemy patterns, which again could technically be true because you can find some really interesting ways to kill some bosses. Uh, especially in the older games, I'm not too sure if it's still in the game now. But you could really just get them stuck in places and then just easily kill them off. And sometimes you can get them standing on your head and it would just not hit you but you can hit them. So that's also a pretty interesting fact right there. 
upgrade your forge and skills um, well there's not really any well I guess this is you know upgrading your machines the right way uh, which again is technically true engage in multiplayer activities technically like trading helping each other complete quests uh, even though I don't really think that's really right now I'm not too sure stay informed this is a very good one to stay informed with the game updates of course I will always be like you know bringing out videos for, for what's like coming in future updates if I do have any insights and info but yeah again keeping up with like all these kind of things is going to be very very like key for traders for players and knowing what to prepare for for the next upcoming updates um, as well as that analyze and adapt again that's the same for every game and have fun and be patient that's again pretty true you can still have fun in the game you gotta be patient with like you know actually getting your level up and stuff but honestly some pretty good tips right there although they weren't really said in the right way but overall chat gpt has given us some really really cool suggestions for update ideas as well as you know how to become pro now i'm just going to ask it one more question is sword factory reforged better than sword factory x i'm not too sure what it's going to say it probably won't really have much of an answer because it do probably doesn't really understand what both of them are yeah there you go it doesn't really have a personal preference it says they're both pretty much the same fair enough that is fair enough you know it says just to re research our own stuff so yeah that is more than fair enough so honestly chat gpt there that was absolutely insane and actually a really fun video to make as well if you guys have any questions that i should ask chat gpt in the next video whether it's for a different game like mining simulator 2 or pet simulator x or whether it is actually for sword factory reforged let me know down below what you guys think i should do for the next one but yeah that's it from me and that's it from chat gpt thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video